months ago, the day that I had the opportunity to actually look at the electronic ballot and pass my, my vote for my brother. When my brother and I were in law school, we used to get cable TV, and there was a uh, show that was on a rerun at that point on MSNBC called Time and Again. Some of y'all may remember it. It was hosted by a woman named Jane Pauley, who had been a journalist. Uh, and Time and Again was a show that would use the clips, the old clips of NBC news footage from the Today Show or from the Nightly News to tell a story about events or about people. And invariably, before they would go to a commercial break, Jane Pauley would introduce the next section of Time and Again by saying, X, Y, and Z, and whatever, when time and again continues. It was sort of a look, a peek at what the future of that person held. And Joaquin and I didn't know at that time what we would do in our professional lives, but I used to kid him and say, you know, I forget what I would say. <laughs> I forget what I would say first, but I would always say at the end, I would always say at the end, and Congress, when time and again continues. Meaning, my brother is someone of extraordinary intelligence and ability and vision, and someone who has a deep passion for serving the people of San Antonio and of this district. He's someone who has been blessed by a great education and who has fought hard over the last 10 years with his colleagues in the legislature to ensure that all of our children are blessed with those same opportunities. He's someone who understands that when we succeed, we have an obligation to ensure that others succeed as well. And I know, I know that in this time of gridlock and of party polarization, that he's going to be a breath of fresh air in Washington. great pleasure to be here along with my mother, Rosie, and my father, Jesse, my stepmother, Alice, who are here. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the next congressman for the 20th congressional Thank you. Thank you. First, I want to say uh, thank you to my brother, to Julian. Uh, I am the better looking twin. <laughs> but, you know, his support has meant so much, uh, not only growing up, but in public service. Somebody asked me today when we were on the street, we were at a few street corners waving signs, trying to remind people to vote over on the west side of town. And they asked me, uh, is it easier to have a brother there with you? And I said, absolutely. It absolutely has been a godsend to have my twin brother with me throughout my whole life and in the public service. So thank you, Leon, very much. And we can't call it, we can't call it yet, but it looks good for pre-K for SA. We'll keep our fingers crossed and also say a prayer for that. Uh, and it looks good for the President of the United States. talk just a few minutes of politics, I want to say uh, thank you to a few folks. Uh, first of all, to my family, to my mom, Rosie, who's here. My mom's here somewhere. To my dad and my stepmom, Jesse and Alice. To my half-brothers and sisters, who I think a few may be here. Uh, to all of my family members and my friends. I see people here uh, from every time period in my life. People that I went to middle school with, high school with, uh, people that I've known for years and years, folks that helped Leon and me in our first campaigns for public office. Uh, it has meant so much to have the undying support of all of you, and, and it means a lot from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much for all of it. I think uh, since this is the 20th district, 
It is the main San Antonio district, the only one whose boundaries are completely within Bear County. It's also appropriate for us to say thank you to Charlie Gonzalez and the Gonzalez. For 50 years, Henry B. and Charlie fought the good fight and represented the people of San Antonio honorably, with passion and determination. And Charlie has been uh, such an incredible help, uh, encouraging with advice uh, and, and everything since I announced for the 20th district. You know, this has been a long journey. Uh, it has been almost a year and a half since I announced for Congress. And originally I was going to run in the 35th district, a new district that was going to go from Austin to San Antonio. But the day after Thanksgiving, I got a call at about 5 in the afternoon from Charlie, who let me know that he wasn't going to run for office. And my first reaction was a heavy heart because it meant that we would no longer have a Gonzalez representing us in this very special district. But also I knew an excitement because this is the district, this is the area where almost 100 years ago, my grandmother, Victoria Castro, settled when she moved here from Coahuila, Mexico. So y'all can imagine our roots are very deep. It's very special for us. Uh, we were born and raised on the west side of San Antonio. So this district is very special for us, and everybody that has helped out. My girlfriend, Ana Flores, is here also. She's much, you know, I joke with Juliana about being better looking. She's better looking than both of us. <laughs> As is Erica. They both are better looking than we are. This has been incredibly special. You know, I've spoken about building an infrastructure of opportunity in our city. And what I've meant by that is, just as there's a system of streets and roads and highways that helps all of us get to where we want to go on the road, let us never forget that in the United States of America, there's an infrastructure of opportunity that get, helps each of us get to where we want to go in life. And our job as people in public service is to help build that infrastructure of opportunity. It's got to include certain things. Great public schools and universities, a strong health care system. That's why we support Obamacare. and an economy that's built around well-paying jobs so that people can support themselves and their families, and so that kids who graduate from high school and from college here don't have to move to Austin or Houston or Dallas or somewhere else to find the job that they want to pursue their career dreams. That's why we're so excited about pre pay for SA, because if we're gonna attract the best jobs in the nation, we're gonna have to be the best educated city in the nation, and that's what we're trying to do. I also, I wanna thank uh, all of my campaign staff, uh, uh, everybody that's here, Ben Thomas, you guys I'm sure have known a Matt Jones, everybody, Christian Archer, Lonnie Esponsa, just everybody that's been a big part of it, Matthew Duarte, uh, my, my state staff that over the years have been so supportive. Cynthia Chapa is here, Cynthia Garizales, Carrie Clack is here somewhere I saw. Uh, everyone, one final thing. You know, y'all know that, that I'm a proud Democrat. I think all of us are. But I want, I want the people of San Antonio to know, first of all, we won this race with the support not only of Democrats, but also of Republicans and Independents. We're at 61% of the vote in early vote. We'll probably end up at 63 or 64%. That means we were able to attract other voters. And I want folks to know that, as a proud Democrat, that my priority will be to represent the people of San Antonio, that to put the people of San Antonio first, over and above everything else. I am willing to work with anyone who is willing to do what is best for our country and for our city. And I look forward to that. more friends that are here in the room. I know Justice Stone from the 4th Court of Appeals, our Democrat who's on the 4th Court of Appeals. I see Diego Bernal out there, the city councilman. Uh, a special visitor uh, from Dallas. Uh, where's Rafael? Rafael Anchia. You see this gentleman, you'll want to meet him before the end of the night. He's a state rep from Dallas, and as Democrats, if we're going to come back statewide, and I know we are, he's going to be one of the people that leads that charge. This gentleman will be a senator and a governor or a governor from Texas. So 
So thank you all very much. Thank you for the victory. I look forward to serving you. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Thank you.